store. had similar coloration with, with males and females and that kind of stuff going on? Well, yeah, I mean, there's... Or is that just a bunch well, of... Well, I, I think I know what you're thinking about. It's like, back in the old days, you see the old movies and stuff, whenever there was a depiction of a dinosaur, it always looked kind of like elephant skin, you know, kind right. of a brown or something like that. But um, nowadays, some of the newer depictions, they'll have dinosaurs in all kinds of wild racing colors. And everything. So, for instance, like a pheasant that like, kind of blends in the grass or something like that? Yeah. You know, so so this is what you're studying. So explain it to me. It's like who's looking at that and going like, hey, look more like the grass because like it's the pheasant mm -hmm. in the grass or it's oh, like it's genes. So like, birthday is it? What? Oh, it's Charles Darwin's 200th birthday. Is it? Yeah, yeah. He's the one who told us. Well, the the, 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 the you took the camera. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that. The camera. Yeah, Something gave us the to the recording. When is it coming back? It's there recording at the front. How long are you gonna hold it? Not it's what? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Would you like to say that? Oh, where are you? This is one of Preston's new products. The guy who sat with the brown scarf. Oh, that complex pattern with all the spots and stuff that looks so amazing. It's very chaud, man. Pardon? What you're seeing, it's very chaud. Who's looking at that? Would be predators. Yeah, but I mean, like, who thought of it like 
And then, uh, and then, that was a good and idea. Then the other the thing looking this at is you cool. that is, though, is, uh, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. This is the <laughs> Right? So up close, a male pheasant, all those, all that finer, it, it, it works as a, as a, as a brain stimulant <laughs> for <a> potential mates. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, it's exciting. But at some point, what, you know, evolutionary does that. I'm just to take it. I'm just to take the that in the past. Like there was a bunch of bland looking peasants. Yeah. And they all just died off because they were like easy to catch. Is that what happened? Yeah. Or, or or they didn't. They weren't very sexy to the females. females. Yeah. Mm. Qu'est-ce que c'est bon, Anna? Yeah. Well, I mean, she goes way back. Qu'est-ce que c'est bon avec le vin? 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 Uh, yeah, I see you've chosen a pretty colorful winter. Yeah, yeah, this is my camera up here at a distance. Yeah. Now, now I am, I am recently uh, reviewing the Pinot Noir from Chateau Really? But I'm not looking for anything. I've got my hands. Yeah. Well, these colors, colors might attract you. You might want to think about that when you're going out in the wild. The right, the right, you know, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for anybody who just joined us, this yeah, is Round the Ice Hole, the ice fishing talk show. We're joined uh, this uh, this hour by Alexi Powell, who's an evolutionary biologist studying color patterns in birds. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and Alexi's needing to probably move along here. As all right. Fun as he's well, just thanks. one last evolutionary like, question, or sure, no, sure. Right. talk about. I'll be fine. All right. I just don't want to overstay my welcome. Okay. I was an improv. I guess all your guests are probably. <laughs> I expect they have heard this speech before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.